Hi, Sony Ashley. Hi, honey. How are you? Yeah. you? Good. Yeah, good. Glad to see it. Okay, so today we're going to do some math and some science. Okay, mathematics y ciencia. Mathematics y ciencia hoy. All right. Yeah. So let's get started. Hold on two seconds and we'll start it. Okay. So mm, let's see. Last month was your birthday, right? So this month we're celebrating Madeline and Anthony, but I'll say happy birthday to Sony Ashley. Last month. Yeah. That's right. How old are you now? ¿Cuántos años tiene tú? ¿Cuántos años tú tienes? Mm. Uh, seis. Oh, you're six years old. Say, dígame, I'm six years old. Dilo. I'm. Dilo, repítelo. I'm. I'm six. I. I. Yeah. I'm six. Go ahead. Repítelo. I six. I. Six. Yes, very good. Años is years, six years. All right, so thank you for coming today. We won't go over our promise. It's just a Zoom expectation that you are really um, doing really well during our Zoom calls and, and, you know, helping to get the lesson done. So we'll, it's just you and me. It's just you and me. So we'll just talk about what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to use the count on strategy. A strategy is like a tool to help you. So it's a way to help you count all the way up to 20, zero. Uno, dos, tres, mm -mm -mm. in English, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Do you know it? Twenty. Yes, very good. And then in science, we will make observations about the objects that we see in the nighttime and the daytime sky. All right. So we're going to go over to our Nearpod and you can join the Nearpod. You can log in. If you can't log in, just watch and I'll share this code later so you can do it on your own. Okay. So let's get started. And by the way, the code is way up here on top if you need it. Okay. Now, what are we doing, Mrs. Cruz? We are going to use the count on strategy to help me count numbers from zero to 20. Okay. Zero to 20. And this was in your lesson. Um, oh, module nine, lesson four. Okay, so it's just a review. Review means to look at it again. Al otra vez. All right, let's match them up. First thing we're going to do is count. Count the objects in each square. So look at the little cupcakes. Aren't they cute? Can you count these cupcakes for me? And when you count them, we'll match them. Okay. Yeah, and we have cookies. And we have personas, people, and we have dots, and we have cupcakes. All right. So do you want to help me count the cupcakes? Okay, let's do it in English. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, t ten. Good. There's ten. Wait, 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 wait. We found ten. <gasps> Yay. Okay, so that's ten. Let's keep going. There's mas. There's more. Are you ready? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17. Can you say 17? <laughs> okay. Repite 17. 17. Yes, yes, yes. Good work. So that's 10. Says, I'm sorry, siete más. 10 and 7 more makes 17. Okay. Which number? ¿Cuál número? 17. Este, 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 o este. Which one? Which one says 17? Do you hear? Do you hear? Escuche 17. Do you see? 17. Okay. Do you see a 7? Vea um, siete. Which one? Primero, segundo. Si, si, si. Very good. So we're going to draw a line <coughs> to match. 17. Okay. 10 plus 7 more. Whoops. Let me erase something. Hold on. Hold on. Get rid of that. Okay. Let me try that again. 10. I found 10 plus seven more equals 17, 17, ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's do the next one. Which one do you want to do next? Cookies, dots, or people? Cookies. Okay, go for it. You do it and I'll watch. Go ahead. Start counting. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Did you get to ten? I heard I heard ten and then eleven. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. I think you missed a number. You missed six. One, two, three, four, five. What comes next? Entonces. Entonces, dale, sí. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop, stop, stop. We <laughs> made a ten. We made a ten. <gasps> Yay! There's our ten. Okay, but there's more. Ready? Entonces. Eleven. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, good, 6, 17, 8, 8, finish it, 18, 18, 19. Good. And what's the last one? Tw tw 20. 20. 19, 20. 19, 20. Good work. So we have 10 and we made a new 10. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Okay. Which number? See, si, which number says 20? Este, este, o este. The third one, this one right here, does this say 20? The one, two, or three. Mm. This one? 20. 20. Does this one say 20? Look at my screen. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Very good. Ding, 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 ding. This one says 20. All right. Good work. Good work. Now, what we're going to do is. We are going to count the dots, but notice I've, I've already made a 10. Look at that 10. Now I know that this is a full 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Now yeah. we can just finish by yeah. counting on the rest. So 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Good work, good work. Guess what? 
I found nine. Nineteen. Good work. Get it? Nineteen. <laughs> so we matched nineteen. Now that was ten plus nine more. And let's look at the people. This is not ten. Let me see if I can make ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at my ten. It looks funny. Yeah. There's my 10. And then let's keep going. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> Good work. And look, look, 18. 18. Beautiful. Good job. So we found it. That is 10 plus 8 mas, 8 mas, 10 and 8 is 18. All right, we did it. Let's go on to the next part. If you do this, if you log into Nearpod and you can write on the screen, you can write the number 18. Look at that, 18. <laughs> because it has a 10. This is a 10. So you have this little line right here. And all you have to do is write the number oh, 18. Wow. Yeah. So you can practice on your own. You can use a piece of paper too, un papel uh, y lapis, and you can just write 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Okay. What comes after 18? <gasps> 19. Yeah. Oh, practice. Yes, I can. Oh, I can see you're going to write 19. Do you want to do 18 first? Let's yeah. write 18. 18. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Nice job. Nice job. Let's do the next number. Okay. Um, the, the, el, the, the, la, was it, la próxima is 19. Nice. So look at this. It's 19. Nineteen, 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 nineteen. Make sure you have your nine no, in no. the ones place and your ten, that one ten that we made sí, in the sí, tens no. place. So it looks like a one and a nine, a one and a nine, a one and a nine. Number Show one. me. Number one. Whoops, I'm yeah. writing all over the place. <laughs> Oh, let's see, let's see. Yes, very good. Oh, turn your nine around. Yes, oh, I see it. Oh, yes, that one up on the top is perfecto. Yeah. All right, good work, good work. Now, a lot of kids, you're right, will write them backwards. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to write them backwards, okay? That's like, hmm, that's like walking backwards. It's You're going to fall. So we want to make sure that we don't write the number backwards. We write it, and this is important for mom to know, for first grade, whoops, hold on. For first grade, they're going to have a, a T chart, and it, it looks like a T, and you put your tens and your ones, this is ones, and these are tens. You don't have to, you don't have to write this. And then they're going to show uh, the numbers in the frame, in this t-chart and it will show it has one ten and nine ones so that's important mom you need to know that for for first grade that this chart will help you learn the value of the numbers okay okay, okay. all right all right so the next number oh what are we gonna do next close for business <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do is count the bees are you ready to make a 10? Can we find 10 bees? Let's try it. Okay, count with me. Go. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, stop.
stop, 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 stop. We made a 10, we made a 10. Ah, very nice. Now let's go ahead and do that T chart. We made a 10, that's one 10. Now let's do our ones. What's left over? Here we go. We got to 10, 10, keep going. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That means we had nine leftover ones and one full 10. 19. Muy bien. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, let's uh, finish up. We're going to count the counters. Oh, yes, very nice. Oh, beautiful. Mwah. Excellent. Mwah. So are you ready? <laughs> now we're going to do the same thing. And you only have to do one, maybe two of these. And we practice luego, later, okay? So what you're seeing right here is this is a full 10. Here's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have one. They look like olives. <laughs> and then we can put. Yeah, we can put our little T chart just like this. Okay. And we can show that we made one 10. There it is. There's our 10. But we have some ones left over. Let's see how many are left over. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six baby ones. <gasps> Put that in there. What is this number? Do you know how to read that number? ¿Qué número es? It's a, it's a teen. Is it four teen? Is it? 17? Is it 16? Yay! See the teen right here? So we have to say 16. Go ahead and write. Escribe 16. Yeah. Show me. Yes. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. So just for an example, I can show one more. Let's do this one at the end. And I'm just going to put my little T chart. I wanted to show mom. This is uh -huh. good for first grade. And we can show that there are, there is one 10 here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. E, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, nine, ten. We have how many tens? Uno o dos? No, do see. So we can put two tens and zero baby extra ones. No mas. No mas. No mas. So dos, two tens, and no extra ones left over. So our number is, I wonder if you can tell me this number. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Do you know how to say that number? ¿Qué número es? Two. Oh, almost. ¿Qué número es? Twenty. Mira la mano. Twenty. 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 Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. <laughs> okay. Good job. Practice that at home. And we're going to, oh, this is just for fun. Okay, so this is another thing to practice. And you can help me right now. It's very fast. So I'm looking at a set of ice cubes. Mm, ice cubes. And I'm going to finish counting the ice cubes. I have one, two, three, four. And I can click and drag the numbers in. Here's five. What comes next? 
para la siguiente. X. X. What comes next? ¿Qué número? Mm. Sigue después del six. six. Después del six, ¿cuál sigue? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seventeen. E, seven. Yes. Seven. <laughs> seven. See, there's no extra one there, so there's no teen. Not yet, not yet. So these are just what I call ones, baby ones. They don't have any tens in their tens place. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. What comes next? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, very nice. Eight. Entonces, siguiente. Siguiente. Eight. Eight. Después, ¿cuál va? One, two, One, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Ten. Yay! Mm -hmm. Nine and ten. I heard it. Good work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Yay! We made it ten. But we're not done. There's more. Yeah. There's our ten. Okay, what comes after 10? Después del 10, del 10. 10, 11. Yay! Then, 12. Repito. 12. And then 13. Yes, and then 14. 14. Yes, and then 15. 15, 15 has five ones and one ten. Okay, what comes next? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. 17, 18, 19, and the last one, 12, 20, 20, yes, 20, okay, that's a fun activity that you can um, practice counting on. So that you don't miss any numbers. We don't want to miss anything. One, two, five, a hundred. No, I'm missing. One, no. two, three, seven. Mm -mm -mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, I don't want to miss any numbers. And I want to make sure they go in order. This is another example of how you can count on. So this shows all the people waiting in line to get their ice cream and this is one two oops wait i draw a picture one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oops there's our ten yeah. eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen we have sixteen people waiting in line plus there are one two three four five more oh that's not right is that right 15, 15 people in line. I got it wrong. <gasps> Miss Cruz. Oh, boo boo. Hold on. <laughs> 15, 15. Okay. 15 people waiting in line and five more waiting underneath. So 15. This is 15. And we have, we can start anywhere. 15 and then just keep going. 16, 17. 18, 19, 20. 19. Very good. So 15 plus five more equals 20. That's our equation because you'll need to learn how to write equations to add those numbers together. Well, one more thing I want to mention before um, is this is remembering the T-chart, the T-chart that mom's going to teach you, tens and the baby ones left over. Okay, so this was 15. And then we have five mas, five more. One, two, three, four, five. And we can add these together. This is a first grade thing. Okay, five and five equals 10. K 
carry that. One plus one equals two, and our number is 20. So that's coming up, I would say, um, probably in December in first grade, they usually start teaching that, okay? So that's a first grade thing. Now, what are we doing next? Oh, yay, this is more practice for you to count on and all this is asking you to do is notice the patterns. So we're going to match up the, the number on the left to whatever number comes next. So this is gonna help you practice the numbers counting on so you don't, you don't miss a number that comes next. Here's my example. Do you remember when we did uh, one, two, three, four, five? What number comes after five? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Good. So I'm looking six. here, and this one, if you said six, you got it right, comes next. So I'm going to match up the numbers that come next um, so that I can, I can count on and I don't miss any numbers and I get them in order. So let's look at, uh, let's look at this one. What comes after 11? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's look and see, does this start with 12? No. How about this one? No. How about this one? Yes. Okay, good. So we can match that. 11 goes to 12 next. And this is just practice for you. Let's do one more. One of us. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about 16? Which number comes after 16? Think about it. Well, but if there's, there's 16. 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Say it again. 17. Good. Okay. Let's find it. Does this say 17? Mm -mm. How about this? No. No, no, seven. How about this one? Yeah. Yeah. So let's match up. 16 goes to 17 next. All right. That's a good thing to practice, too. You can um, make a little game and have maybe cards or um, the little pieces of paper to match them up. So you know what numbers come next and then practice counting. So this one, like you could practice five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And, uh, yeah, another thing that mom will can practice with you is to pretend that a number is, oops, hold on is missing and you have to figure out what number is missing okay so you would have to figure out what number is missing six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh oh 15 15 so that's another fun game for you to practice okay cover up or hide a number okay hold on two seconds for me okay, okay. i think i think i think i have a visitor Yep, I think I have a visitor. All right, let me go. Yep, okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Give me two seconds, two seconds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead. And if my dog barks, I'm sorry. Let's do a quick brain break. Yes. So you can stand up. You can stand up. Levántate. And we're going to get a little exercise. Here we go. Are you ready? We're going to do Encanto. So we're going to start running. Encanto <laughs> we're chase. We're going to do the chase. Save Isita. 
<laughs> Mission number one, get Antonio his Jaguar. Dodge the animals. Oh, chop dodge. Isabella's vine. Chop, chop, chop. Freeze. Freeze. See Dolores. Good luck. Oh, whenever we see Dolores. Okay, run, dodge. Chop. Dodge. That's enough. That's enough for now. Good work. That was fun. So now we're going to finish up. We're going to finish science, la ciencia, y, and then we'll be all finished. Right now, you can have a seat. We're going to look at the objects that we can observe in the daytime and the nighttime sky, okay? Yes, we're gonna look around and make observations. So let's take a little trip and look around at the daytime sky. <gasps> look at the sky. Oh, yeah, you see the sun, very good. <gasps> what else can we observe? What is, what are those? See the birds? Yes, I see it. What about, what are those? Cloud. Cloud. Yes, in, in English, cloud. Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is weird. I just noticed this. This is a helicopter. Mom. Helicopter. Yeah. Come in Espanol. What? Yeah, you know it. You got it. <laughs> That's right. You got it. Very good. So those are the things you can observe in the daytime. Now let's see if you can remember what you can observe in the nighttime sky. Let's see, what do you notice? What do you observe? La luna. See, sí, muy bien, the moon. Moon in English, moon. Moon. Yes, moon. And what are those? Estrellas. See, sí, very good. In English, stars. Stars. Stars, that's right. Moon and stars. Very good. Um, there might be other things that you can observe in the nighttime sky, but there are things we cannot see in the nighttime. We can't see the sun, right? Can't see the sun. Don't see any rainbows. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no rainbows. Um, so the nighttime sky is dark but that helps us see those stars and the moon and maybe some satellites. And sometimes we can see clouds, sometimes. All right, so now for practice, all you would have to do here is tell me something that you observed in the day sky. So name something you saw in the daytime sky. What did you see in the daytime? In the daytime, did you see stars in day? Mm -hmm. No. What did you see at the daytime? Let's the, go the, back and see. Mm -hmm. What did you see? 
sun. The sun. The sun. Oh, the sun. In English, mm. sun. Can you say sun? Mm. <laughs> That's very mm. good. All right. Let's uh, wait for it to come up and we'll type in sun. Sony Ashley sees and observes the sun. That's right. And you can also, if you do this, you can also type in a, the word for a picture. Oh, look at that. Yes. And you can put a picture in and it will, it will put the picture in. Okay. That was the daytime. We also saw clouds. Let's look at cloud, cloud. Let's see what, oh, there's a cloud. Yeah. We can add the cloud. Right, and you can write in cloud. We also saw helicopters and birds. Okay, what about the nighttime sky? Uh, tell me something. Yes, the moon. Okay, and let's look at the let's look at the moon. Let's look at the pictures of the moon. Ooh, look at that. How about this one? That's so it's pretty. Beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful. There it is, the moon. We saw stars and the moon. Sometimes we can see other things, but it's harder to see at night. And I know there are plenty of things we cannot see at nighttime. So the last thing we need to do to practice is to I label. Oh, mom, this is super important for first grade. Labeling means put, putting words inside the pictures yeah. so that if they draw a picture they write a word to label it so if we do picture draw a picture of a cloud oh. we write yeah. the word cloud yeah. so that the teacher knows what you did okay what is this one Star. sun yeah. yes let's put the word sun next to it. Okay, let's go over to the nighttime sky and label the nighttime sky. What's this? ¿Qué es eso? Mm, es... Mm. ¿Qué es eso? Luna. See, mm -hmm. and in English, English moon. moon. Yes, moon. moon. Very good. We have sun and moon. Very nice. And now what's this? ¿Qué es eso? Mm, estrella. Yes. Star. Stars. Very good. Oh, we'll label the stars. Beautiful. You did such a good job. You can do that at home to practice. We are finito. All done. Gracias. Thank you for coming to learn with me. We're all done. Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye, honey. Bye. Hello. Bye, honey. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Take care. Bye. We'll Thank talk you. Soon. Thank you.